Good morning, folks. There was a deadly storm in Europe, radiation released, we've got space weather and some interesting news on sunspots and sunspot groups. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding a pretty calm and quiet last 24 hours on our star. Bottom right side, towards the end of the sequence, you'll see things maybe starting to get a bit active. The Earth-facing quiet did do its job handling these sunspots, stifling them completely, but they are turning out of view now and wouldn't be out of expectation to get a little bit active. The coronal hole on the south down there turning out with them has mostly missed Earth. Solar wind speed in purple there slightly rising up. That is just the faint edge of that coronal hole hitting our planet. Next one coming around now up north. Top two lithospheric stories hit Japan yesterday, a six-pointer offshore, and they are raising the alert at one of the volcanoes at the Southern Islands. Folks, an eye-opening manuscript. Authors Georgieva and Kirov have been featured here many times. Both are cited in our book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, and here they teach us a little something about sunspots. Sunspot groups and the number of spots within them and the size dominant at cycle phase are indeed driven by the solar dynamo and changing magnetic fields over time. This may not be something many realize, but sunspots do not disappear at a minimum, even a grand minimum. Smaller sunspot groups dominate at those periods, and as we've just seen weaker solar maximum, we also saw an uptick in the smaller spots during the early part of the last solar minimum. Remember, two X10 solar flares came from said sunspots 12 years ago. Big names back in the news again, and it might mean that as the sun goes to sleep, that may only apply to solar maximum. Consider that for a moment. Up next, there's been widespread detection of radioactive ruthenium in Europe. Multiple countries likely came from an Eastern Europe atmospheric release, and the only good news is that ruthenium isn't as bad as cesium or iodine, say from Fukushima. Isolating in on Germany now, where a terrible storm raised parts of the country, killing seven people, including some crushed in their cars from falling trees. And speaking of storms, the rotation in the central U.S. is a flood and storm maker tonight, but to its south is the real focus. More death is already stacking up in Central America as Tropical Storm Nate barrels northward. It'll wrap around the Yucatan, and right now the models say it's coming for New Orleans in about 36 to 48 hours. Eyes open there. Folks, if you didn't catch last night's video, it was a key update on the solar magnetic field triggered earthquakes model. And also, now every video of ours is enabled for viewer translations. Click the gear box if you want to contribute your subtitles to any video we have in any language you want to share. Once there, you just type in the language you want to help with and voila, make sure you check the boxes to get credit for your contributions. Kat ordered a bunch more little gifts for the kids to send out with our new children's book. Everyone who orders this month will get the little kids' gifts and have guaranteed delivery by Thanksgiving, ages 2 and up. Available from the same place you get tickets for observing the frontier, the community event of the year. Now through Sunday, anyone who registers will be entered to win a signed copy of our other book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. We'll go around the world here and wrap with shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.